what is the shiny cladding that has been seen flying on the F-22 and more recently on the F-35? I have no idea. Okay, this is a short video that some of you actually asked me to do, but really there is no material, this is pure speculation. First, the facts. The F-22 has been seen flying with some sort of shiny cladding that was unseen before and there is nothing official, no declaration either from an industry or the Air Force saying anything about it. More recently, uh, the Navy's F-35s have been seen with a similar cladding as well. Actually, it seems that there are different versions of this cladding in the sense that there are at least two iterations seen on the F-22 that are slightly different. And then there is the one seen on the F-35 that is probably less shiny and it looks more like a tiling on the aircraft. As I said, we don't know what it is. We have no official statement about it. Some analysts believe that it is a, a form of coverage to reduce the infrared signature of the aircraft. I personally don't think so. Basically, there are two types of infrared signatures. The one that derives from the parts of the aircraft being hot, and there is the signature that derives from reflecting the environmental infrared. Mm, the former is more visible in the short infrared, Red, the latter is more relevant in the longer infrared. A shiny coverage probably won't get hot from absorbing the environmental infrared, but is also going to reflect it quite a lot, so it doesn't seem really functional to reducing the infrared signature. Well, maybe some form of very effective thermal isolation that is going to keep the external surface of the aircraft very cold, but it seems unlikely to me. When I say that something is unlikely, normally it turns out to be the right thing, so well. What I'm more oriented to think is that it is an implementation of patent that has been filed a couple of years ago uh, in the context of the F-35 Block 4 for a new radar absorbing material that was ceramic in nature. Stop, stop, he is still in holiday mode. It was a piece of news coming from North Carolina University. Apparently, a spray on ceramic radar absorbing material has been developed there. It can be sprayed onto a surface, and then it hardens to a ceramic state in 48 hours. The news appeared in May, 2021, on the British Mail Online. At the time, the problem reported was evenly covering sloped large surfaces. If this is it, then the research seems to be more advanced than reported. Particularly the form seen more recently on the F-35C, which actually seems a collection of tiles. It is believed to be very effective. In fact, the patent says that it is going to absorb about 80 to 90% of all the electromagnetic energy that is projected on the material. But again, that's all we have. Anyway, what seems quite clear to me is that what we are seeing is a sort of large-scale experimentation is not yet a viable product, a combat-ready product. So maybe we are, we are going to see this for a few years from now until it gets a widespread adoption. And probably at the time it won't be shiny. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on it. In the meanwhile, if you want to learn more about what we know or really know about stealth, we have several videos on the channel that are going to appear beside me. Thank you very much to all those who support the channel on Patreon by being a member or by one-off donations on PayPal. You can also support the channel by buying an aircraft model from Air Models. There is an affiliate link below. I have a small percentage to no extra cost to you. So if you got this far, thank you very much for watching and see you there.